Hello, beautiful friends. Welcome to Crystal Tarot 1111. My name is Erica. And today I'm going to be looking at the energies of Mars and Venus. So Mars is in Gemini and Venus is in Pisces. And so we're going to look at the energies of what happens when they're both in those particular signs. Now, if you're not familiar, Mars represents typically the masculine energy, um, the part of us that is driven, the part of us that is motivated. Um, what we desire is driven by Mars energy, what we want, how we go after what we want. And the feminine energy is represented by Venus. And Venus energy is more how we relate, how we are emotional, how we communicate, how we receive and give love. So in essence, this is a, a look at what we can expect during this time period. So now Mars is in Gemini from March 3rd through April 23rd. And Venus is in Pisces. Venus went into Pisces on the 25th of February. And she'll be there till the 21st of March. So this particular video is going to span the time frame basically from March 3rd through March 21st. So with Mars being in Gemini and Venus being in Pisces. So we're going to look at how th these dynamics will play out. So in essence, this is basically masculine energy and this is feminine energy, but this is based on the influence of um, the planets of Mars and Venus. So let's just get started and take a look at the overall energies of Mars when he's in Gemini. And there will be an extended. And in that extended, I'm going to break down specifically some questions around what Mars represents as long and also the Venus energy and get more in depth into how this may play out. But let's just get an overall sense here. And the link for that will be in the description box below. But let's look at Mars energy. What's his overall energy when he's in Gemini? Eight of Cups, the Magician, and the Queen of Cups. It's interesting because he's right off the bat, Mars and Gemini is okay. <laughs> this is a message I'm getting very clearly where <coughs> if you're vacillating between two choices, Mars and Gemini is going to, going to help you with this. You may feel a little bit two, two, um, like two sides of yourself. Maybe you are like, do I stay or do I go? Do I leave or do I put more effort? Cause it's almost like, cause you know, we could be deciding to walk away from something, but then at the same time be like, well, but I really like it. I really love it. Like, do I want to move how do I want to move houses? Do I want to change jobs? You know, do I want to look, search for more or am I going to be okay where I'm at? And it's almost as well. I feel like it's a battle of intuition, kind of trusting your intuition. Really interesting. Let's actually get a card on the eight, uh, on the magician itself. Okay. Yeah. See, do I hold on to something from the past? Am I holding on too long? Am I going for what I really want? Am I going for what I really love? So Mars is going to call us to, uh, make that choice or it's going to be made for us. Because here comes this, you know, this guy, this death, what the heck is he, what is this called, a scythe? Um, and he's coming in to end something that someone is holding on to with that four of pentacles. So let's see what Venus is overall energy when she's in Pisces. Well, she loves being in Pisces because it's all romantic and lovey-dovey and 
sweet and in some ways idealistic. So let's see what her energy is when she is in Venus. Page of Cups, Knight of Cups, Eight of Swords. Well, here's some of that lovey-dovey energy, right? Wanting to fall in love, wanting, like being really connected to the fairy tale energy, kind of wanting this wanting to receive the love, wanting somebody to love us. But there's also an element with this Eight of Swords of it's not in our hands. It's not in our hands. It's like we know what we want. We're thinking about it. We're dreaming about it, daydreaming about it. And something about this is not... We may be feeling like something's not in our in our control. Let's get a card on the Eight of Swords. And we get the Eight of Wands. It's an intense energy. I feel like I'm getting this sense of Venus energy and Pisces kind of being like, talk to me, open up to me, let's talk, and, and feeling like there's this sense of, I can't, because this person, again, the Mars, the Mars energy may be afraid to open up and talk and give all the love, even though the Mars, Mars is surrounded with the opportunity for love, but it might feel a little bit like, I don't know, and, the, and Venus is trying to like coax it out of Mars, like, come on, open up, open up. And she feels a little helpless with this. So let's actually look at what they're both, um, what their energy is towards each other. What is Mars's energy towards Venus? Specifically, Knight of Wands, Three of Wands and the Four of Cups. There's a lot of passion. He's kind of like, hold on, hold on. I'm on my way. Don't worry. I am on my way. I'm just, um, I'm just in the process here. It's almost like, I think Mars in this energy almost feels like he's losing an opportunity losing an opportunity. So it's almost like this, there's an opportunity available for love or for something that you really love and enjoy. And Mars in response to Venus saying, come on, open up, do this. Let's try this new thing. That's going to make you really, really happy, but feeling like she can't do anything. It's almost like he's feeling like he's missing a chance. And it's something that he wants to go forward quickly. He wants to go forward with gusto. But there's something here where he sees it, it's a little further down the road. Page of Pentacles. Why is the Four of Cups here? The Knight of Pentacles. See, he's... I feel like he wants to go faster than he is because he's not satisfied not taking this opportunity. The judgment, yeah. He knows it's time to take the action on making this choice and deciding what to do. So how is Venus, re, uh, what's her energy towards Mars during this time? <laughs> There's that four of four of uh, pentacles, six of wands, and the king of cups. So her energy towards him is like, dude, if you just open up, there will be victory here. There will be love here. You will be received here. She's kind of like bopping him on the head like, hello, just let go. Stop being so stubborn. Stop being afraid to open up. Stop thinking that you need all this help to open up. It's 
it's really kind of sweet actually and three of three of wands see this is real time conversation between the energies happening so she's saying like listen there is a positive future here stop messing around stop getting distracted and go for it make this have this communication open up do make this choice take the action towards what you know you're ready to do the six of wands gets the six of cups and again if you're watching this for love this is where venus is just like come on there is such unconditional love here but just get going with it already it's it's like come on i'm here Venus is like, I'm here, I'm, I want this, but like, I can't do it for you. You have to do this, Mars. Mars, you have to do this. I cannot do this because I am the feminine. I need to receive. I can't be the one taking the action. That is the feminine energy. Now, as you guys know, I'm always talking about watching this for your, for your own internal energies. And so this could be a scenario where it doesn't matter whether you identify more as the masculine energy or more as the feminine energy that has nothing to do with this it's like your inner masculine is afraid to take the action but your inner feminine is like come on come on do this you know this why is the king of cups here you've already made your decision you know what you're doing You know the action you want to take, so now it's time to take it. So let's see what they're both thinking and feeling about uh, what we may be thinking and feeling. What is the Mars energy going to be thinking and feeling about the feminine energy, the, the Venus energy? What is on the masculine's mind? What is on Mars's mind? I'm going to move these up. King of Pentacles nine yeah it's almost like he needs a wingman so like he's looking for help he's looking for support he's afraid to open up but he wants things to change he wants to be able to do this he's looking forward to his life improving and going into a positive direction he's looking forward to the success but he knows that he is the one who's sitting here guarded he's keeping himself from his happiness what is he feeling? What is Mars feeling? Queen of Pentacles, look at this. So again, strong energy. Queen of Swords, Ten of Cups. He's afraid to open up his heart. He's being guarded with his heart because he's afraid and feels afraid that it's like he wants to not be guarded. He doesn't want to, you know, stay this way. He wants to be happy, but there's an element of him where he is And again, if, if there's a, there's a choice here, there's a choice between something that is, um, there's success, potential for success. There could be a choice if this is relationship, there's two Queens showing up here. So if there's a choice of commitment, leaving one relationship, going forward towards the future, towards a happy future, where there would be another person down the road, you know, there's just, there's so much. I feel like he's also, what's he feeling with this Queen of Swords, the Strength card? He's really trying to, he wants the Divine Feminine, the, he wants Venus basically to receive him lovingly, to make him feel really, really good, make him feel like he's being really, really brave. And he's going to be like, she, he melts in her presence, Mars does. And let's see why the nine is here because it's been building it's it's like he's he's still trying to it's like this has got to land and he knows that 
the communication or, or this decision is being driven by the energies. And he's taking aim right now. He's trying to figure out, um, it's almost like he's being forced. In a lot of ways, Mars and Gemini is going to force us to, to finally take aim and do what we need to do because it's been a long time coming. So again, guys, in the extended, I'm going to get into the specifics of Mars energy, like how, how this time period, how we're going to be motivated, how, what desires we're going to have, what action we're going to take to get what we want. Uh, we're going to look at also the sexual energy of Mars during this time period. What will Mars and Gemini reflect on there? And we're going to look at Venus. How is, how are we going to be very loving? How are we going to be expressing ourselves? What are we going to, um, be looking at the also how it will affect money because Venus energy is about money and finances and also beautification. So we're going to look at the Venus aspects as well in the extended. But let's look at first again the how Venus is thinking and feeling about Mars during this time period. King of Swords, um, Nine of Cups, Ten of Swords, and how is she feeling? Three of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Seven of Wands. Well, here we have our happiness waiting. But I feel like Unless I think Venus is, is thinking here, like if, if you don't make this decision, it's going to be made for you. So why not decide to be happy now and stop expecting difficulty, stop expecting betrayal, finally make this decision to end something because inside there's a lot of happiness and she stood her ground here saying there's a new beginning here come on you're gonna be happy do this Mars take this action be courageous be strong because there's a lot of beautiful energy on its way the ten gets the four of um, she's saying it's gonna be very healing for you to make this decision Mars I trust me I know I know what's coming I'm intuitive Right? When you make this decision for the King and Queen of Swords, you have the clarity, the blessings are coming. You're going to be happy. You're going to have this manifestation and this celebration with this new beginning. We have two cards that represent celebration and another card representing victory. All you have to do, Mars, is get in and take the action. You have to get into this chariot and you have to drive it forward. The chariot is waiting. It is there for you. You just have to drive the bus because this new beginning here will be very rewarding. You're going to get out of it what you put into it. And she is standing her ground here saying like that this choice, you have to make this choice. You have to make this decision. For many of you with this lover's card, it can be around love. But no more juggling. No more sitting around. So we know that there's been a lot of theme themes around relationships ending and relationships beginning and kind of both as a collective we've been getting really um pushed to aligning with that which is meant for us for our highest and best for our emotional happiness and our fulfillment and everyone is really facing those choice points right now whether it's love or whether it's you know career mission direction what i'm doing so we have this kind of laid out here really beautifully. So I'm going to get the guidance here for you guys for how to best look at this particular time period. So what is the best guidance for when Mars is in Gemini and Venus is in Pisces? Basically the period from March 3rd through March 21st. What is the best guidance for this period of time? So nothing is yet set in stone. The answers you need are coming. And you're very close to achieving your goal. 
Yep, there it is again, confirming all the messages that came through. Nothing is set in stone. It is a highly emotional time. There are emotions all over the place. Do I stay? Do I go? What do I do? But you will get the answers. There is communication on its way and it will be communicated because when it's communicated, there is, you're going to get there. You're going to get where you want to go. But right now, things could be a little topsy-turvy, but hang in there because once you get there, you're very close and we're getting nothing will come of the situation. This card again is a choice, is, is like a double-edged card, right? This indicates a choice. You either choose that something's going to, this is either nothing's going to come of the situation or you have nothing to worry about. But this can indicate a choice to end something that is done and then also not to worry about it. And also some of you, this is about the deepest fears coming up, right? Where it's, this to me is also kind of like the devil energy in the tarot. But it's like, nothing's yet set in stone, but your biggest fear that the choice you're going to make is going to bring you, you know, disaster. There's nothing to worry about. You are meant to make this choice, but it, this is, this is that point. This is that point. All right, lovely friends, um, heading over to the extended. I hope you found this helpful. And I do have a lot more um, Mars and Venus videos over on my uh, original channel, Erica Elmets. Um, if you have not checked that out, I'm leaving that channel up just because there's close to a thousand videos on that channel. And um, I know many of you guys rewatch my videos and also go back to ones that I did because a lot of my videos are timeless meaning when the messages resonate, they resonate. And I know many of you guys are going back there and watching videos there. So if you haven't gone there, please do check it out. Um, it's E-R-I-K-A and then E-L-M-U-T-S. That is my original channel because uh, there's tons of videos over there that you can scroll through and and see which titles pop out at you and get some additional messages. So with that, guys, uh, I send you much love. Bye.